Tax relief denied for seniors in Jackson County. This afternoon, the county legislature explained there's just not enough time before tax bills to process a new state law. Kansas HB 41's Alyssa Jackson sat down with a homeowner to hear his reaction to today's news. Lots of questions, so, so bear with me as I kind of bounce around here. The Jackson uh, County Legislature spent the majority of Monday's meeting going back and forth with the assessor's office about flaws and admitted errors in the property assessment process. There is no one that checks and balances me other than the property owners. A focal point, the reality of what this tax season will look like for homeowners over 62. People feel panicked to the point where some seniors in our hearings have said they may lose their homes. In his 135-year-old home, surrounded by decades of memories, Paul Rojas couldn't imagine losing this. Like everything else, we have to cut, I have to cut, you know, I'm a widow now, a widower now, and uh, naturally when you lose your, uh, your spouse, you lose half of your income, you know. Rojas is among the more than 54,000 homeowners who appealed this year. Very high, very high. I'm ashamed to say how high it was. Without the county legislature freezing property taxes for seniors, he says finances are going to be tight. Well, senior citizens are going to have to choose between medicine, groceries, light, gas, and water. While time was a legislature's reason for why they couldn't enforce Senate Bill 190 that would keep taxes lower for seniors, Rojas said time is something some of his neighbors don't have. I've been blessed that I, so far, even though I struggle, that uh, I have personal witnesses of people who are definitely losing their houses because of this fiasco. In Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.